Hey there, I hope you're well. As you're well aware, I come from a cleaning background and as such, I have quite a lot of experience with microfiber cloths. I did a video some time ago, I'll put a link up there in that corner, uh, regarding the best type of microfiber cloths to buy. Today, as you'll have seen from the title, I'm going to be talking about microfiber towels. I've heard a lot of people saying that microfiber towels are rubbish, that they don't absorb water, etc, etc, etc. And actually that's not true. I'm guessing that they've broken the same rule that people who bought microfiber cloths and thought they were rubbish have broken. And the rule is simple. Do not buy anything that is 100% polyester. Polyester on its own as a fabric is not absorbent. That is not what you want as a good microfiber towel. What you want is an 80-20 blend. 80-10 minimum, 80-15, okay, 80-20 pretty much ideal. Each of these towels that I've got today that I'm going to go through today with you is an 80-20 blend. I'm also planning to do some absorbency tests and we'll see how much water these can absorb. So which towels are we going to be looking at today? Well these are basically three different sized towels. The smallest towel we're going to look at today is the Mr. Natty and it's described as a microfiber sports towel. Then we have this Summit, I couldn't remember the brand name, Summit Microfiber Travel Towel. And this one is approximately four foot by three foot, 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters. And then we have the Fit Towel. This is the largest of the batch we're gonna look at today. They're all a little bit different, so let's get into that first. All of them come in these nice kind of mesh bags and sometimes they can be a bit awkward to get out. So with these we've actually got a couple of different types of microfiber. So we've got this type and these two are both identical in that respect which are more like a duster. They are not bobbled and they're just nice and soft. This one is a little bit more like a conventional towel in the sense that it's got these kind of bobbly bits on one side it doesn't have them on the other. What some people don't like about these and where some people say these don't work is they don't rub against your skin in the same way that cotton does. These work much better if you kind of either wrap yourself up in them as in as you would with these two bigger ones and pat yourself with them. But they don't feel as good rubbing against your skin as cotton ones and I think it's just because we're just not familiar with that. We come from a background where we've used cotton towels and these feel different, but that doesn't mean that they're bad or wrong. <laughs> Hello. Right. <laughs> so you're used to cotton towels, basically, aren't you? Yes. And these aren't cotton towels. Oh. These are microfiber towels. So do you want to just have a feel of them and tell me what you think of these in terms of how they feel? Well, that one's obvious. So there's some of this. That one is a lot, does feel a lot softer, doesn't it? That one's a little bit more like a conventional towel, isn't it, in terms of it being yeah. bobbly? Yeah, so it is. And that one's rubbish. Do you think? <laughs> but yeah, they do yeah. feel different, don't they, to conventional yeah. towels. Do. Um, do you think you'd feel comfortable using these as a towel? Being of somebody of a, you know, a, a more mature generation. Uh, this one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, thank you very much for that. Right, what we'll do now is we'll just test these towels using a volume of water. We'll know how much water we use because this jug has measurements on the side and we'll see how much water each of these can actually hold. So let's try, well, we'll try the little one first and we'll see where we go from there. When I say how much it'll hold, I mean how much it'll hold before it starts to really leak. So we'll try 200 mils. 200 mils and you know what I mean when I say leak you know when they start to drip see it's taken that and there's room for more let's put another 100 in so it's now got 300 mils in 300 mils it's held all that I think that's probably going to be its maximum there's the odd little dry bit still in the towel let's just try three another hundred so, I mean that's well and truly submerged in that water. Let's take it out, see how it does. All right, 
right so we found this limit so let's just call that for the sake of argument 300 mils so next up it's the summit and for this one I think we'll start at 400 with it being so much bigger so it's easily taken that and there's so much dry towel left so let's put another 400 in that's dry in there I don't know if you can see that and it's easily taken that let's stick another 200 in so that's about a litre and it's not dripping next up we've got the biggest of them all now in theory this should take more than a litre it's going to be pointless trying to cram it into that jug so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a litre of water into here and then we'll just empty that into the sink and it should just absorb all of that up and oddly enough don't know whether you can see that well this is dripping this won't actually take a whole litre so the bigger the towel not necessarily better I don't know about you but I think that's quite fascinating so I'm actually going to put that down to texture because this one, the fluffier one, seemed to absorb an awful lot more for the size of it than the green one, which was the biggest, and obviously the red one, which was the smallest. I have to say, that's got me thinking. So I've run the towels through the spinner and I'm putting them through the tumble dryer at the moment. And I'm going to use one of them, just the small one, weigh it, get a shower, dry myself off, then re-weigh it and we'll know how much water roughly comes off a body my size when you have a shower. Right, so you can see there that the Mr. Natty towel weighs 114 grams when dry. Let's see what it's like after I've had a shower. And there, having dried my whole body after a shower, a meager 173 grams. So that's just 59 grams of water or 59 milliliters. And that towel will hold 300 milliliters. Which of these towels is my favorite? It's this one, the Mr. Natty. And I'll show you why. Because kind of once you've got it folded up, it pops back in the bag. It's a tiny little bag. And that little bag goes with you everywhere. This is a remote control, just to give you the idea of size. It is dinky, right? You can slot that little thing in anywhere. So out of the three, that's actually my favorite and the one that I use the most. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, it's up to you. And if you subscribe to the channel, the next time I upload something, which is pretty regularly, you'll get a notification from YouTube to say that I've uploaded something. It won't cost you anything and it just helps me out. That's great, thank you very much. And as I say, I hope you've enjoyed this. Cheers, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.